sanity. Tea sanity. Tea sanity. We're sanity. We are. And today we're drinking black tea. What kind of black yellow? Ceylon! It's a Ceylon OP1. Orange Pico 1. Orange Pico 1. Sit clear. Mm, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. And it is from Pico Tea. This one wasn't bought in the Pico Tea. It was bought in like some garden centre somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know what this thing about garden centres is recently. Yeah. Mm. This one came from a garden centre. But mostly if I needed to buy it again, I'd buy it from Pico Tea. Because I know where Pico Tea is and I don't have to drive there. Also, this packet's really shiny, I don't understand. Most people tea's less shiny. Also, we, we just literally shot, like maybe an hour ago, shot the green tea video that you may or may not have seen. And Emma was all like, my hair's too long. I had a bob like this. And I was like, bring me scissors! I know. That's what I happens if you let me your scissors and hair. But not your own hair. Not my own hair, no. So, so this teapot, the story behind this teapot, is, is very important. I bought it for you did, for my Christmas present one year. Yes, and I like it because it's Le Creuset. I, I like it because it keeps the heat really well. I'd like to, to use that teapot more often, but it's a bit big for just me. But for two people, it's a really good size. Giant. This isn't a really good strainer. What's this strainer from? It looks uh, like a shell. It's from Falkert. Um... It's a really old tea strainer. I imagine. Very, very really badly. It is. This is a terrible, terrible strain strainer. I think. So far, we've not had any leaves through it, which is lucky. Yeah, it's that's enough tea because I need more. I was energy. going up to the dock. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's it's a silver tea strainer, and it looks really nice. It looks like a shell. I'm gonna dump it in the kitchen and get a real tea strainer before we pour the next cup, which will. Oh, a leaf. Okay, I'm going to wait for the tea to strain through the strainer. It'll stay in the strainer. Maybe. No. <laughs> Otherwise you're going to have Ooh. to pull that. Oh, oh no. Oh. It's like trickling through the tiny dots. Imagine when we get to the point where actual a few leaves come out. No, it's... it will be unusable. Yeah, I'm going to go and get a different tea strainer. This one is this rubbish. This is for finings. 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 Yeah, well not even because the tea strainer will still wouldn't pour through it any faster. That's enough, you need milk. Shush you. Okay. We're also going to do a quick quick experiment comparing soy milk to moo cow milk. Because I don't really drink moo cow milk very often. I sometimes do. In my tea, most mm, days. Yeah, I use soy milk instead. But that doesn't mean I need sugar in my tea, which I wouldn't usually take very much of. Because I'm not using sweetened soy milk. Although, before you put anything in this tea, I'd recommend trying it without. I'm going to. Because it's a really good tea. See how non-milked it is? It says it's an OP1, and then the price tag says it's a BOP. It could be a BOP, uh, obviously it'd be a BOP1, but it, it, doesn't say that, it doesn't say that it's broken on the front. It only says it on the price tag. Mm. Why don't you look at the leaves, eh? Well, that's what we're going to do now. Oh yeah, that's nice. They don't look too broken to me. No, they don't really look broken, do they? There's a few little broken bits, but I don't know. They mostly look like they lovely look, black. They look whole, they don't look broken. So I think, I think it's OP1 and I think the price tag is incorrect. 4 29 No, it's 4 29 <sighs> It's really hard to say, that's sort of borderline. It depends on, on like, if it's a single estate tea, I think it is, because it's... St. Clair, Yeah. Then it's more the price of a BOP. I hope you won with. Mm, maybe you got a cheap deal. Maybe we did get a cheap deal. Nobody knows. Nobody does know. Right, it's got a little little hint of something that needs some, some milk to temper it, so I'm putting soy milk in mine. I'd rather have cow milk because I'm secretly a baby cow. Mm, yeah, you're secretly a calf. Mm. And you're secretly a baby soybean. I am. That's why I drink soy milk. That's how milk works. That is how milk works. It, it's squeezed out of udders, so clearly soy milk is squeezed out of a soybean's udders. And rice milk is squeezed out of a rice bean udder. Hmm. <laughs> why then does quinoa milk taste of cat's piss? <sighs> I've still not got around to putting sugar in this. Put it in it. 
That was off camera, but it was a very small amount. It was about a quarter of a teaspoon. Thanks. Oh, that one's got milk on there. Oh, yeah. oh no! He's not even vegan, he's just pretend vegan. I'm not even vegan, I had cheese for lunch. But still, like you, sh like even if you're not vegan, you still cut down the amount of dairy. That's true. And animals. And if if you're a vegetarian, you should still cut down the amount of animal you eat. Environment, yo. What's this book? Hmm? I don't know. Horrible history. Oh my goodness! Books. You know, you know who was reading this? Victoria was reading this. Now, given that Victoria is currently writing her. Is it a master's? It's, a, it's not a real no. master's. It's no. an MA though. Is it? Yeah. E -A MA, something like that. It's a bachelor's degree, but it's 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 because it's in Scotland, they call it a master's. Weird. Um, she's currently writing her dissertation for it either way. This is the book that she was reading yesterday. So she's writing her classics dissertation. I really hope this is not one of her primary references. I hope it is. <laughs> I hope it's one of her History secondary references. With the nasty bits left in. Hip and happening Greeks. Mm. They hung out over 2,000 years ago. We want to know why some groovy Greek girls ran about naked pretending to be bears. Because it's fun. Who had the world's first flushing toilet? Me. Whoa. Um, no, wait. <laughs> Thomas Crapper. Fair enough. He invented the ball cock. Nice. Yeah. He's called Crapper. He invented a ball cock. Poor guy. Also not poor guy. There's one last thing you I'm want to I'm not 100% sure if the crapper is etymologised and this is from his name. I hope it is. I hope it is. I hope that's where the word crap came from. Yeah, I hope that's where the word crap came from. But we don't know. No. We need to read this book. Maybe it'll tell us. Yeah. Also, we want to find out why dedicated doctors tasted their patients either wax. I think you should try that and then we should swap mugs over and be like, what does it taste with different milk products in it? I like that one. I actually vastly prefer it with the soy milk. The soy milk gives it that sort of soybean aftertaste which takes away from the tea taste. It's okay with a stronger black tea. I it's think slow and it's it a bit... adds... The, the cow milk adds a slight sliminess to the texture. No, I don't think so. I think it does. I think I've managed to get the amount of sugar almost exactly right then. No, this one's nicer. Milk. No, this one's nicer. I'd probably say rice milk was a lot better Believe than soy milk. Believe me, not her. You're right about the aftertaste. It does have an aftertaste. Which rice milk would have a lot less of. <laughs> but I'm right about the sliminess. No, I enjoy this tea. It's all slimy. The actual tea, though, is what we should talk about. It is a nice cup of tea. It's a really good time. It is a nice cup of tea. It's got... Very little of the body that you'd expect from like an Assam or something. Because it's not an Assam, it's a Ceylon. It's a light black tea if you want something light. Mm -hmm. Should we talk about the Kenya tea we had the other day? Kenya tea was nice-ish. It wasn't yeah. nice at all, I didn't like it. I don't remember bringing it wrong, I liked the Assam. Yeah, the, oh, the Assam was really nice. The Assam was really good. We were at the Willow Tea Rooms in Glasgow. The one on Suffy Hall Street. Not it's the one in chemistry. We don't know what that was like. No, we went to the one fully designed by Charles Ray Macintosh. And it was filled with old ladies and serving staff who were like, every time they looked at us, they're like, to all the old ladies and to us. And we sat at the table which you could see directly from the entrance. Yeah. Not on purpose, just that's where we were. Yeah, that's where so we were. So people put would come in off. and be like, hmm? And then see all the old ladies and be like, but they yeah. had like black dresses and white aprons. Mm. That kind of place. It was that kind of place. Yeah. And they had, you know, as you'd expect, being designed by Charles Rennie Macintosh, nice Art Nouveau ambience. Good chairs. And high back chairs. Yep. And stylized rose designs. Mm hmm. And some teas, not like a bajillion teas, but no. quite, quite a few teas. Mm. No, I'd say about, what, 12 different varieties of tea. At least, yeah. And some of those were herbal, though. Yeah. So Amongst those, we had three. We had a willow, willow blend, willow blend. which was their blend. Kenya, Kenya and, an and an Assam. I wanted to try the Kenyan because I hadn't really tried properly before. 
I was aware that most, like, cheaper tea blends are mostly bolt out of Kenyan rather than Assam, and so I avoided it. You tried it? I tried it! We had the Willow Blend. The Willow Blend. Which was delicious. The Willow Blend was really, really good. I'd recommend that to anybody who's in Glasgow. And wants a good black tea. And wants a good black tea. The Assam was also fantastic. Assam was probably the best. It's probably the best Assam I've had, actually. Yeah. Might go back there and buy some loose leaf. There wasn't any of that sort of bittery taste at the end that mm, you might expect and from it an Assam. And like, kind of almost cardamom flavour in the aftertaste. Yeah, it was all spiced, almost. It was really good. Mm-hmm. I'd avoid the Kenyan. Kenyan is not the best on the menu, definitely. The Kenyan tasted like, to be perfectly blunt, the Kenyan tasted like a cheap tea bag without any of the Ceylon or any of the other ingredients that make it taste nice. I've let I you go out of my head well. for scissors for like, what, three years, four years? Three or four years, yeah. Four yeah. years. Something like that, four yeah. Years. So... I haven't been to the hairdresser since. Yeah. Only like once. But it was sort of grown out and kind of looking a bit neat. Whereas at the moment it's like, crazy pants hair. It's not crazy pants. No, it's not crazy pants. It's awesome hair. Awesome pants hair. It is what happens when you let a sculptor near your head with scissors hair, though. Mm, a little bit. And it does have a distressing thing that, unlike most of my sculpting, it doesn't have a control Z. Can't undo this. Control Z, control Z. Oh no, it's stuck. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, Emma has a bob again. <laughs> That'd be so handy. But it would have taken a lot longer, though, because half the time I make the correct cut. Well, you know, more than half the time. Almost all the time I make the correct cut. And then it looks wrong in the context of not being a finished haircut, and I'm like, oh dear. You went out control Z. Control Z. <laughs> Start again. So, like, I don't think I really messed up anywhere and had to fix it. I think I more or less got that one right, because I was being quite cautious. But, every time I made a cut, I was like, that doesn't look right. <laughs> so if I had a control Z, it would have been like, cut, no, cut, no, cut, no. We'd probably still be doing it now. So, so in kind this of instance, I'm glad there's no control Z. Other times I might not be. Have I ever really fouled up your hair? I've never been to the hairdresser after you've done it. The experience is, oh shit, bugger. <laughs> oh yeah, Damn. I, I like. Uh, uh, what have I done? See, if I was a professional hairdresser, I'd pretend not to do that. That's probably what all hairdressers like all yeah, the time. Yeah, I think so. Probably, yeah. you just have to not say it. Exactly. Yeah, they're like. Just, just, just. <laughs> Holiday anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's just a defense mechanism, man. Emma's sad because the iPad says her face isn't a face. Did earlier, before this haircut, this fiasco that makes my face not a face. <laughs> not a face anymore! <gasps> oh no! Oh, well. The thing is, we didn't really change the bit that's actually your face. You just made your head thinner. That's true. Look, we got a new strainer out. We did. This one is not shaped like a shell. I would like to see mm. how it works. I'm used to the mesh type. Yeah, I didn't see a mesh type. I just went into the drawer and I only saw silver ones. This one isn't very good either. But pouring slowly, it's fine. Yeah, it's better than the other one by a long way. We always sit this way around, don't we? Yeah. Hmm. Curious. We never even talked about it. If I turn this way, it'd be weird though. Imagine it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey Jamie. Sitting yeah, the hey, yeah, well. left. I don't like it. See, it doesn't work. Should we swap rounds? Tried it. Should we, should we swap rounds and see what it's like? We swap the milks now. We could switch if you want. Let's find out. Maybe Let's I'll put out. a smidgen of, of, of sugar in my tea. No, I don't like it. <coughs> Pass the sugar, please. That's better. That's better. Okay, so no, I'm allowed to start with Sexist. That's being helpful. Sometimes you still nice when you're being helpful. Yeah, I know, but I'm gonna have a rant. A rant about how I was being helpful. <laughs> if we had correct society, I wouldn't have interpreted it wrong. That's true. I've been like trying to consciously make it um, that our videos are evenly generated, divided. Hadn't realised. No. That's probably a good thing, though, because you're not supposed to really realise. If we had, like, all-male 
podcast, then maybe I would have been like, mm. hey, what's going on here? See, one of my favourite YouTube channels is about guitars. Mm-hmm. And it's very good. Mm-hmm. But I don't believe they've ever had a female guest. They've had... They had two male hosts. Mm-hmm. And the only time I can think of that they've had any women in the video at all is that they've been dressed as elves and standing in the background of a Christmas video. It's pretty upsetting. They didn't get people that could play guitar. It's pretty upsetting. They just stood there. Should I learn to play guitar and then go on? You could do. Uh, guys, seriously. Seriously. Like, a lot of it's not their fault because their guests are often geared demonstrators from guitar companies who always hire men. But I'm the only female who works at the ballroom. Really? Yeah. That's strange. Isn't like actual like people who climb, is that not reasonably gender divided? Like like normal kind of figure to split? Mm, slightly more male. In the ballroom while it's more male, generally. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I don't go climbing so I don't know. Oh. No, static moves are good if you're if you're flexible. Because right. say I wanted to reach over there, mm-hmm. there's a foothold here. Yeah. I would put my foot up here and then push off and go up yeah. in a static way. But someone who's dynamic would go, Whoa! Right, okay. I don't think I could do either. I could do the sedimentary move. This one? Yeah. It's like when Peter Gabriel was asked what his favourite dance move was, he said, probably standing still. I was once um, interviewed in the newspaper on the street about my style because I was dressed stylishly that particular day. And they asked me who my style icon was and I thought the first person that came into my head was Peter Gabriel but when he was in Genesis and dressed like a flower and I said Peter Gabriel but I didn't explain when in Genesis dressed like a flower. And so next to me was a little picture of Peter Gabriel just dressed in black and I was like not interesting, is it? It's a bit silly. That was back when I was an art student and I dressed like one. You still sometimes dress like one? Yeah, quite a lot of the time. Not today. I enjoy, I enjoy your, your cowl that you're wearing. Thanks, I enjoy it too. But it's not like a hood. It doesn't have to be a hood. It just makes uh, me look like a crazy worm. I was going to say, is it so that you can hide the, the haircut if you are worried about it? But you couldn't really hide it with that, can you? No, it squinted my glasses. <laughs> oh no! Cool. That's better. No, it's nice and warm around my neck though. Oh, I'm not wearing a scarf today. That's oh, why I'm man. cold. You want to describe the tea? Give it some ratings. Hmm. Eight out of calming. Mm. This is a calming tea, isn't it? This is one of the most yeah. calming teas. It's comforting and warming. Mm. It is a. It's like a. Oh, it's like snuggling up in bed with a big duvet and watching some of your favourite TV shows like Vintage Doctor Who. Nine out of warming. Seven out of Doctor Who. Mm. Who's your favourite Doctor? I'm a Peter Capaldi. I'm quite tired. So am I. This is a comforting warming tea for tired It's a comforting warming tea, but at the same time it does have a little bit of perkiness in it. It's not like a, a you know, cheerleader level of perkiness. No. Like, but it's more like a... What if you got in from work and you wanted a tea so you could enjoy your evening? Yeah, it would just, like perk you up sleep. after being a long hard day at work while simultaneously calming you down from the stress. It's like comforting with a little bit of yeah. We're gonna sign off now. Bye. Squids are great and octopi. Octopies. Octopies. It's my octopus impression. It's pretty good. Now do your full on octopus impression. No.